Two-step equations. That's what happens after one-step equations. All right. So when we do this now, it's not just one thing we're going to cancel out. We're going to have to cancel out two things. But we use the same methods. If we want to cancel out addition, we're going to subtract. If we want to cancel out subtraction, we're going to add, and so on. Now, here's what we want to think about. There are layers to equations, right? And you can't, it's like, uh, I had a good example and I forgot. Let's say corn on the cob. So the corn comes and it's wrapped in the husk, right? Husk? What is it called? Corn. Anyway. Yeah, you husk the corn. It's wrapped in the husk. Before you can get to the corn, and let's say you don't like the cob, so you're going to cut it off the cob anyway. But before you can do, before you can cut it off the cob, you've got to take off the outer husk, right? Then once you get the outer husk off, then you can take the corn and slice it off of the cob. So you've got to get rid of the outside first before you can get to the inside. Even though it's two steps, outside first, then inside, and that's what we're going to do with our equations. We've got to take away the stuff that's further away from the variable first, and then the stuff that's close to the variable. Okay? So let's take a look. So outer layers first, then inner layers. Okay. So I'm going to start out, and again, you don't have to do this, but I'm just trying to get us to understand. Here's our division, right? What are the two things that are by the x this time? Negative 20 and 4. A negative 20 and a 4. Okay. Which one, think order of operations, which one is closer or grouped with the x? Four. The 4, right? So we're going to leave the 4 alone with the x for a while. We've got to get rid of the outer layer, which is the 20. Does that make sense? So in this case, you don't do the x part. Multiplication. Do multiplication first. Um, okay, so you don't because you're you're unwrapping it, so you've got to start on the outer yeah. stuff first. Not solving. If if you were gonna put in a number, if you were gonna put in a number, yeah, you do the multiplication first when you simplify. But when you're solving, that's why you said you have to kind of work backwards. You got to take out the outer layers first before you can get to the inside stuff. Okay. <laughs> no fighting. <laughs> All right. So we've got to get rid of that negative 20 first. How do we, now here's, here's the challenge now, because we just did all addition, all subtraction, all. How do we get rid of that negative 20? Because it's minus 20, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to add 20 to both sides. So add 20, add 20. This is going to cancel out to be a zero. So then all we have left on the left-hand side is the four and the X. On the right-hand side, negative eight plus 20 is going to be 12. Does that make sense? Okay. It's okay. Nobody's going to make fun of you. I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe your friends will make fun of you. I know. But. Okay. Now we have to get rid of the 4. Right? It's 4 times the x. How do we get rid of the 4? Divide. So divide by 4. Divide by 4. These 4s cancel. And we get x on this side equals 3. And again, I'll show you that you can check that. This, this is our solution, right? Once the x is by, our, by itself, we think we're done. Why are you laughing? Did I make a mistake? OK. So let's check it out. OK, and what do we think our answer is? Three. Three. So let's check it out. We're going to put in the three. Three times four is 12 minus 20 equals negative 8. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. So we know we have the right answer. Okay, so you can always check by plugging it back in. I'm not going to check every one, but if you're ever concerned about it, you can always check before you plug it back in or by plugging it back in. Are we okay to go on? I don't want to erase it before somebody needs to write it down, before everybody has it written down. All right, next one. Again, what are the two numbers we're going to have to get rid of this time? Seven and five. Yeah, the seven and the five that are on the left, right? Correct? Yeah. Left, correct? Not left, right. Left, correct. All right, so which one is grouped with the X? The five. So we got to leave the five alone for now. We got to get rid of the seven first. So how do we get rid of the seven? Minus seven. Minus seven, right? So subtract 7, subtract 7, and this cancels. And now we have, on the left, 5x 
equals zero. Zero. That's ridiculous. Seven minus seven is zero. Okay. Then <laughs> what else do we have to do? Divide. Yeah, this is times. We need to divide by five, and we still have to divide by five on both sides. Okay. The weird thing is when this cancels, we get x. And what is zero divided by five? Zero. Still zero, right? So that's kind of weird, but that is true. And if you went back and checked it, that is the correct answer. Yeah, five times zero is zero, plus seven is seven. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, any questions there? All right, let's go on. All right, now, what are the two numbers that we're gonna have to get rid of this time? Four and negative two. Which one is grouped with the x? Two. The negative two, right? So I'm going to put this over here. Now we have to be careful on this one. We are trying to cancel out the four, right? This is one that tends to trick people, but let's see if you can get it. How do we cancel out the four? Negative four. Subtract four, right? Because this is a positive four. In order to turn it into a zero, we have to subtract four. Does that make sense? The negative goes with the two. Some people get that mixed up and they want yeah. to put the negative with the four. I always get mixed up with you get mixed up with that? Yeah. yeah. The, the four is a positive, so to get rid of it, we're going to subtract. Okay. okay? So you got to be careful there. The negative goes with the two. So subtract four. Subtract four. This cancels. What we have left is that, make sure you don't forget it, the negative in front of the two and the x. And then 10 minus four is six. So now, how do we get rid of that negative two? Divide. divide. So divide by negative two, divide by negative two, these will cancel, and we get x equals negative three. Very good. You guys are doing very well. Are we okay? Okay. All right. Now, this one is also a little tricky, and I'm going to ask the question the same way I have been. What are the two numbers we have to get rid of this time that are by the x? 8 and negative 1. The 8, and do we remember there's actually a 1 in front of this, and so it's a negative 1, and you're exactly right. So the 8 and the negative 1. Which one is grouped with the x? Eight. Negative that, 1. That negative 1 right here. So this stays together. We've got to get rid of the 8 first. How do we get rid of the 8? Minus 8. Subtract 8. So cancel, and now we have negative, and I'm going to put the 1 there. You don't have to, but just to emphasize, there's a 1 there. Negative 1, x equals negative 6. And then how do, you, how do we get rid of that negative 1? Divide. You have to divide. They're multiplying, so we've got to divide. Okay, so divide by negative 1. And when we do that, negative... Go ahead. Can we cancel because of that different sides of the equation? So negative and negative, we can cancel. Right? Yeah, and actually, if you thought of it, okay, there's, there's, a, this one is a kind of a nice. It's a convenient one because there's a lot of different ways to do it. I'm going to show you this first, and then I'll talk about what you were just saying. So we cancel that. You get x equals six, right? Mm -hmm. And I think what she was saying, if you have a negative in front of an x and a, a negative in front of a six. So you can just cancel, cancel out the negatives, and you get x equals 6. Okay? If, if you're not comfortable with that, just do it this way, because that's what we were kind of learning, divide by whatever. But, yeah, if you see that, yeah, if you've got, remember we said the opposite of x is equal to negative 6? Well, that means the x has to be equal to positive 6. Right? So does that one make sense? Okay, still good? That's a good thing. All right, we've got a couple here now. Or three of them. Okay, looking at this first one, what two numbers are we going to have to get rid of? Seven and negative three. Seven and negative three. Which one is grouped with the x? Three, three. Yeah, so remember we're going to get rid of the seven first. Always start with the outer layer first. How do we get rid of that seven? seven. Yeah, they're adding. We're going to subtract. And we have to do the same thing on both sides. So now, whoops. Now we have negative 3 on the left, negative 3x, and we have negative 15 on the right. 
how do we continue? Divide, Divide, by, Divide negative. by negative three. The negative threes cancel out again, cancel out to be a one, not a zero, but it just leaves one X. And negative 15 divided by negative three, positive five. Okay. Next one, what two numbers are we going to get rid of this time? Negative two and nine. The negative two and the nine. Which one is grouped with the X? Nine. The nine. Are we doing okay telling which one is grouped with the X so far? Okay. How are we going to get rid of the negative two first then? Add two. Notice it is a negative two. To cancel it out, we need to add two. Okay, we have to be careful there. That negative goes with the two, so to cancel it, we need to add. And this will cancel. And now we have 9x on the left, and we have 9 on the right. How do we finish this one off to get the x by itself? Divide by 9. Divide by the 9. And once we do that, the nines cancel out to be a one, one X, oops, one X equals one. one in this case. And that is our answer. And then how about this last one? Um, what numbers are we gonna, they've switched the sides now. What numbers are we gonna cancel out to get the X by itself? 10 and two. The 10 and the two, right? Which one is grouped with the X? Two. The two. So we've gotta get rid of the 10 first. How do we get rid of that 10? Minus 10, subtract 10. So minus 10, minus 10, cancel. 8 minus 10 is? Negative 2. Negative 2, and then 2x. And how do we get rid of the 2 this time? Five. Divide by 2. And then when it cancels, we get that 1x, or just x, and then negative 2 divided by 2. Negative one. Negative one. And we get our answer. And I think most of the time on the homework, I think they probably in front of the box it says x equals and you just put the number in there. But just be careful with that. I, I think the x is almost always out in the front because if you put in x equals five and it has the x out in the front, it's going to think you're giving it the wrong answer. Mm -hmm. So if you, again, I can overrule the computer because I'm the boss of the computer. So. <laughs> That's five equals. No, computer. I'm just saying on the computer, it'll probably have X equals, and then it'll have your box that you put your answer in. So oh, all you have to put in there is the five yeah. or the yeah. one or the negative one. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. And that's it. First two lessons, thumbs up. Yeah. Right? We're good? All right. We're cruising. <laughs>